studio is Shannon from Blind Melon. Hi, thanks for coming Hello. in. How are you doing? I'm, um, I'm recuperating. You're recuperating? Yeah. Why is that? I'm recuperating from uh, uh, bruised feet. I, I bruised feet? Yeah. What did you do? I was stomping my foot last night. Oh, right, yes, at the Underworld. How did yeah. it go? It was great. It was really, it was really fun. There was a lot of cool people there. We got to meet a lot of new people. Jolly good. Yeah, excellent. It was fun. Well, I'm looking through your press stuff here. Why is it that uh, people always try to pigeonhole bands and lump them into a category? Because on the first page, they go. Because they're lazy. <laughs> is that what it is? They're lazy and they have no original ingredients to make up their own, you know, kind of a uh, way about a band. Because they've, they've tried to do it here to you and they can't. Yeah. You've beaten them. Let's talk about your influences. What are they? What inspired you to get into the world of rock? The world of rock. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, I'm influenced. I'm influenced by uh, pe by you know people like Sid Barrett. I was a big Sid Barrett. I liked Pink Floyd. Yeah. Uh, it was the first. It was the first. You know, music. You know, that gave me a mental movement. You know, it's like. How old were you? We're like 16 and 17 right. years old. And you know, it was just it was it was it was a tradition that every every it was a, like a, a weekend thing. A lot of us, a lot of you know, through Monday through Friday, yeah, you didn't you had to to try to maintain all your sp responsibilities. And but then come that Friday, <laughs> you, you, you I and and probably three or four of my friends would always get together and we'd take LSD and we would listen to Pink Floyd. <laughs> that was just like the big <laughs> tradition that actually lasted for a really long time. And so. So that was what we did, you know, and we got into just sitting and thinking, you know, and, and letting mu letting the music just, you know, kind of paralyze your body and just sitting there and just thinking about, you know. And Pink Floyd certainly yeah, did and do it that. Was like, I mean, you didn't have to jump around and mosh, yeah, you know. I mean, you yeah. didn't have to move your body at all because all the movement was going on behind your eyes. And and that was enough to to... to you know, exhaust you at the end of the evening as much as what it would be if you if you were, <laughs> you know. So, I mean, that, I just I liked I liked the the music that would that would move me internally rather you know than than make my body move. <laughs>
Why is music so important to people? Why is it, do you think, at that age? It's a good, I think it, it's, it's just a good way to therape therapeutically bleed yourself, you know? Yeah. And, and and through music, it's like, it's some, you know, that's, that is a, it's a good way to bring people together, you know? It, it's, I enjoy meeting people who, you know, like last night, you know, I've never been here and, and people are singing our songs and I was, I was really overwhelmed and, and to just, I mean, it, you, you, there's like a common bond. You can find, you, you can break down, you know, the walls of communication through music and then, and then afterwards it's like I find myself sitting with people who I'd, I've never met, I don't know, but yet we're, we're communicating like yeah. we have known each other, yeah. you know, and, and, and it just, I mean, it makes, it's just a different way of 